On August 16, 2011, KABC radio host Peter Tilden interviewed Senior Vice President of East West Bank Don Dan and discussed how East West Bank had helped convert a former facility used to develop and test rocket propulsion systems for the military into the largest single-site solar energy facilities in California and among the largest in the country. So the guys at East West Bank do a lot of different stuff, but one of the things they do, they have a commitment. Hey, Don, let me ask you about something. In the Sacramento area, you guys helped convert a former facility used to develop and test rocket propulsion systems for the military into what has become the largest single-site solar energy facility in California and, and almost one of the largest in the country, correct? That is correct. So now how do you do something like that, and what does that portend for the future? You know, obviously this is a super fun site that's been mandated by the EPA to do the cleanup, and there's a water pumping station that does the remediation. And basically the solar project was to provide electricity or energy for the water pumping station to do cleanup. When I say it's the largest in the country, how big is the project? The project is actually six megawatts. Um, in total. So it's about 40 acres worth of uh, panels lined up. And how did you start on this project? How did you get the Aerojet facility? Well, this, uh, the CEO of Solar Power Inc., SPI, Steve Kircher, was introduced to the bank. How he came about was he has heard about our bank, uh, you know, active involvement in financing solar projects. And as you can imagine, uh, financing on contaminated site or declared contaminated sites, a lot of banks or financial institutions are not very comfortable in working on those projects. And, you know, this is one of the areas that we have found a way to structure properly and feel very comfortable in this particular area. So what's cool is East West Bank comes into a contaminant. It's a contaminated project. Other banks would hold up their nose and say, what are we doing here? See you later. You guys were creative enough to say, hey, we're all beholden to Middle East oil. You know what? This is a perfect opportunity for us to invest in a project that's contaminated, nobody else will touch. And what you did was not only did you convert it, but now it's great for the environment, great for the bottom line, right? That is correct. And not only that, the, the, the project created uh, hundreds of jobs, um, not just through the construction, but also you know, ongoing maintenance. Figure this. It was dead real estate. It was just sitting there rotting. And, and and it was a bane to the community, as a negative, as a matter of fact. And you took it, made it a solar project, made us less beholden to oil, gave people uh, jobs, and it's a huge success, right? This particular project became sort of like the model project for the EPA. Really? That is correct. Because you took something that was such a negative and turned it into a positive? You're absolutely correct. You know, apparently, the EPA controls you know roughly about $15 million acres of the so-called brownfield sites across the nation and you know to the extent that we do come across opportunities whereby the proper incentives are in place we like to be able to kind of play a role in helping to provide clean energy for the cleanup and everybody makes out so it lessens our dependence on carbon-based fuels which is what everybody wants to do i mean that's the goal that is correct and you're a lot of people talk about it you're actually figuring out a way to do it i mean when you put these fields up they really generate a lot of electricity, correct? And they do. And let's say the concept of using oil to provide energy for the cleanup of contaminated site, I mean, you're defeating the whole, yeah. the whole purpose of you exactly. know, why you, right. know, you don't want to go there. I love it. I love that you take sites that are contaminated, sites that they are sitting there rotting, that they're doing nothing with, and using them, turning it around, making it a valuable site by using it to generate electricity and save the environment at the same time. How many of these are you doing, or how many have you done? We just recently dedicated another, you know, single largest commercial project in the city of Sacramento, which was a, you know, three megawatts project. Site. I love that it's especially places that are contaminated sites that, that were useless. You want a big challenge? You want a contaminated site? Come to my backyard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll give you your biggest, your biggest. My wife would kiss you all over. You figure out what to do back there. You want to talk we'll contaminated. About that. <laughs> I think that's even a bigger challenge. That's well, thank right. you, man. You guys do an inter I interesting taking a huge well, negative. Thank you very negative. much. We yeah. appreciate the opportunity. Well, you know, we all rant and rave about getting off of foreign oil. And not only are you saying, oh, we're going to do these solar projects great and we're going to uh, take people's money and invest and do, you're, you're going one step further, which is saying, give us the hardest challenge, which are areas in the country that are basically shut down, rotting, 
never going to be used again and saying, that's a lot of square square miles, a lot of square footage here. We can give people jobs and turn it around. You know, the, the good thing about this is that while we're doing this, you know, we, uh, again, we are, you know, creating a lot of jobs. For, I think it's for really, really good. Time. And again, okay, so stay in the line afterwards because I'll give you the address for my backyard. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so you think I'm kidding. Thanks, man. All right, thank you very much. Don Dan, Senior Vice President of East West Bank. Thanks. Thank you. Take care.